complement for any base or numbering system there are two complements there's something called the radix complement and something called the diminished complement the radix is the r's complement for example in base 10 there is something called the tens complement the diminished complement or the diminished radix complement is the R minus 1's complement. If we take a look at the base 2 numbering system, which is the binary system, there is something called the 1's complement, which is the R minus 1's complement. And, of course, there is the 2's complement, and we saw that before. In base 10 numbering system, there is the 10's complement, and there is the nines complement. The nines complement, R minus one, the tens complement, the radius complement. For example, this number in base 10 has a tens complement that is equal to this. How do I find that out? First, R minus five, which is 10 minus five, is five. And then R minus 1, which is 9, minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 7 is 2, and 9 minus 6 is 3. So this here is the tens complement of this one. You notice that also, that this here, this number, is the tens complement of this number again. Because if you want to find out this tens complement, it's 10 minus 5, which is equal to 5. It is 9 minus 1, which is equal to 8. It is 9 minus 2, which is equal to 7. And, minus, and 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. For this number, the nines complement is equal to 9 minus 5 which is 4, 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 7 is 2, and 9 minus 6 is 3. So this here is the 9's complement of this number, and also vice versa. This is the 9's complement of this one, and you can try that out. Likewise, for the base 16 numbering system, there is something called the 16th complement and something called the 15th complement. This number here has a 16th complement, which is this one. Let's find that out. 16 minus 5 is 11. 11 in hexadecimal is B. 15 minus 1 is 14. 14 in hexadecimal is E. And 15 minus 2 is 13, which is D. 15 minus 3 is 12, which is C. So this here is the 16th complement of this one. And vice versa, this here is the 16th complement of this one. 16 minus B is 5. 15 minus E is 1, 15 minus D is 2, 15 minus C is 3. The 15th complement of this one, how do you find that out? It's 15 minus 5, which is 10, represented in hexadecimal in A. 15 minus 1 is 14, which is E. 15 minus 2 is D. 15 minus 3 is C. For the base 8 numbering system, there is something called the 8's complement. If this number is in base 8 number, then the 8's complement for this number is this. How do you find it? 8 minus 7 is 1. 7 minus 2 is 5. 7 minus 4 is 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. So this is the 8th complement 
for this number. And the opposite is true. There's also something called the sevens complement. All right, seven minus seven is zero. Seven minus two is five. Seven minus four is three. Seven minus three is four. Assume that we have a binary number. Let's say we have a four bit binary number, which is four ones. That represents the number 15 in decimal. And we want to uh, subtract this number, one, zero, zero, zero from that number. Okay, we're supposed to get a value. One minus one is equal to zero. One minus one. Uh, minus zero is one, one minus zero is one, one minus zero is one. So we're supposed to get a value of 14. This is equivalent to 14 or E in hexadecimal. Let's use the two's complement subtraction to get the same result. We take the first number, okay, which is one, 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 and we take the two's complement of this number. What is the two's complement of this number? It's one, it is one, it is one, and one. Okay, and we add them together. One plus one is equal to zero. One, one, one is equal to one. And then this is a one. One, one, one is equal to one. And that's a one. One, one, one is equal to one. And then we have a carry, which is equal to one. Now we complement the carry as we did before, okay? So the number, the final number is positive because the final carry is equal to zero and the number is 14 as we have before. If we reverse the case, we are supposed to get a minus 14. Let's see how we can get that. This is the first number, all right? minus the second number, which is this one. It is the same as taking the first number and adding that to the two's complement of this number. What is the two's complement of this number? It's one, zero, zero, zero. We add these two together, we get one plus one is equal to zero, and this is a one, and this is a one, this is a zero, this is a zero, and the final, and the carry here out of the addition is equal to zero. We complement the carry to get the sign of the last number, so this is a negative, a negative two. Is this actually a negative two? We're supposed to get minus 14. Of course, we get the two's complement of this number. Let's take the two's complement to, uh, of this number to get the absolute value of the result. What is the two's complement of this number? It is equal to zero, one, 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 which is 14. So this is a minus 14. Here we got a plus 14, and here we got a minus 14.